well known that tumors have high levels of MGMT that they're often resistant to alkylating chemotherapeutic agents, as opposed to if they have low levels of MGMT, they're often very susceptible to, to alkylating chemotherapy agents. Um, so one of the goals with our treatment with hemozolamide is to, try to determine which patients are the ones that are likely to respond. And ideally, those would be the patients we treat with temozolamide. So that's been looked at as a potential uh, marker for a response to temozolamide, whether tumors had uh, high levels of MGMT, low levels of MGMT um, in their tumor. They don't actually look at MGMT, they look at the, whether or not the promoter genes methylated, so that if the promoter genes methylated, correlates with low levels of MGMT. If the promoter genes unmethylated, it correlates with high levels of MGMT. So at least initially in retrospective studies, they were able to show that uh, if tumors had methylated MGMT and they were treated with uh, temozolamide, they did much better than if they didn't have the uh, methylated uh, MGMT in the promoter. Uh, but it may be that it's, even the patients who had radiation alone, they actually did better if they had methylated MGMT. So it may not actually be a marker for temozolamide, it may just be a prognostic marker and those patients will do better. And that's now been verified in a large uh, phase three clinical trial uh, that looked at uh, whether the methylation status of MGMT for patients with ALS.